What's going on everybody? So it's been kind of quiet. I haven't had a whole lot of service in Yellowstone and Yellowstone was pretty quiet. So uh, everything, I mean, the stuff I was seeing was so far out. I don't think a whole lot of my pictures are gonna come out super good. I got to see some cool stuff. Saw some wolves uh, chasing a juvenile uh, grizzly, maybe, I don't know, one to, one to three years old, somewhere in that range. Uh, the grizzly walked up on the den inadvertently and uh, one wolf was kind of behind him pestering him and then uh, uh, he got to within like 20 feet of the den and like nine other wolves came out from it and uh, kind of circled the bear and the bears turning around left and right trying to get at the wolf uh, the wolves and uh, he ended up kind of bucking it out that was super cool to see but again they were like three quarters of a mile away so I mean my pictures are going to be like very minuscule but I got to see it which was super cool um, and then the next day uh, or later that day um, I saw like 10 bison chase out uh, a grizzly bear like just out of nowhere this grizzly is just chilling by himself and uh, me and uh, one of those a new guy I just met um, we start walking out into the Lamar Valley and just as we get maybe 60 feet kind of into our our trek to try and get closer to this grizzly, uh, uh, the bison just came running across the field like just out of nowhere. So they kind of chased him up back into the tree line, uh, but they were still kind of cohabitating uh, this little area. Uh, the grizzly bear was just, I mean, he had no intentions, I think, of looking at the bison or whatever there were no babies or anything but uh he was just grazing and uh the bison were kind of near him you know maybe like 40 feet away or so and uh so we keep pushing on forward next thing you know the bison start uh chasing him out again so then he runs back where the bison initially came from into the meadow and uh again he ran pretty far away a good 100 yards or so away from the bison kind of starts grazing again and then uh next thing you know the bison come in again and chase him off they, they just did not want him there uh, that was pretty crazy uh we ended up both deciding because he had been there five days before me um uh, we both decided to leave yellowstone which was kind of a crazy call because you know yellowstone's known for their wildlife but uh I think it was still just a little too early. I think I was a week too early in my planning um, to catch all the, the grizzlies coming out. Uh, so we both decided we were going to do one hike, turn around, and come out to Grand Tetons because it's a little lower in elevation, a little warmer. Maybe have more luck. So we do one hike, and I mean, we're not even five minutes into this hike. And... Uh, out of out of uh, Will's peripherals, he's walking in front of me. I'm about ten feet behind him. Um, just out of his peripherals, he looks over to his left, and uh, there's a black bear, sixty feet away. We both stop, freeze, get real quiet. He's like, "Is that a cutout?" And right away, I raise my camera up and start shooting. I think I got a few few fairly good pictures of it. But it was uh, feeding on a carcass, literally 60 feet away from us on this trail. Um, she was super quiet, super calm. Um, so we, we just kind of respectfully stayed there. We didn't move. And uh, next thing we know, she kind of moves off and into this tree. That's maybe like 10, 15 feet away. And uh, we start hearing uh, scratches up in the tree. So we look up. And uh, we noticed that there is a cub, uh, probably, a, you know, just a tiny, maybe uh, four-month-old, five-month-old. I mean, super, super tiny. She's probably about yay big. Uh, but anyway, she's there. And uh, so we're both kind of moving back and forth quietly, taking photos. And the mom is showing no aggression whatsoever. She's super relaxed. She's just snacking on this carcass that is pretty well picked off at this point but um nonetheless she's uh snacking away the cub is just kind of climbing up and down the tree so we sit there for maybe 40 minutes or so and then uh 
then we head off out to uh, we head off uh, down the trail a little bit try and see if we see anything else see if the mom's gonna wake up she uh, she was so relaxed she ended up taking a nap just under the uh, sorry I'm looking for grizzly bears right now at Tetons uh, she was so relaxed she took a little nap at the base of the tree and uh, anyways so we ended up moving on over to uh, Grand Tetons uh, weather was rolling in which was also part of the factor of our decision um, but uh, looking for grizzlies uh, so we make it all the way out to Tetons and the rain, it's starting to kind of rain intermittently and uh, anyways we drive around a little bit we see a moose nothing, sp nothing super spectacular uh, anyways we end up calling it a night and uh, then we move on uh, I go to bed just sleep in a parking lot I'm still staying in the CB and Denali has just been napping in <laughs> her bed which is the whole back seat um, Anyway, so I wake up 5 o'clock this morning, I run out, just do some checks, look for some moose. Um, I found a few, found like two moose this morning, but it's not super exciting because they, they drop all their antlers every year. And uh, so I stay with them for a little bit, and uh, I'll pop off the road here. I stay with them for a little bit, and... Uh, don't see anything so uh, I decided to kind of push on and I go to this one area that's known to have a lot of black bear and a lot of grizzlies still kind of early early in the season today was kind of cold it was like 35 degrees um, but uh, still went for it it's always always worth it to go and fail than not and don't get anything so I uh, I push on to um, this one area where some people spot some grizzlies and I saw mom and three cubs, which was pretty cool. But again, they're, they're super far out. So it doesn't make for exciting pictures. And, uh, so anyways, I hang out there for a little bit. Some people say, Oh, there's another grizzly sighting just, uh, 20 minutes away. Cool. So I head for that, you know, maybe I'll get lucky. And uh, as soon as I pull up, there's Bear Jam, you know, lots of cars. And uh, anyway, so I get out of the car, go over, take some photos. And, and she's she's close enough that I can actually get some nice photos, some, some quality stuff. And uh, uh, my cruise control set. Uh, so I get some nice photos, and we're kind of playing the leapfrog. She's kind of eating and grazing and, like, She's walking at a good pace to where you have to be in front of her, otherwise you're going to lose her. So I leapfrog like two different times, and I'm getting some okay photos. Uh, not quite the, the position I want, like a 45 to the animal. And uh, it's a mom with uh, three cubs, uh, probably yearlings. Um, but... Uh, so I keep playing this leapfrog game, and then finally I'm like, okay, I'm gonna jump way down the road because she's still walking at a pretty good like. If you were taking a brisk walk, that's almost as quick as she is moving. So I jump further, way further down the road, and it ended up paying off amazing. She was 20 feet away from me. Uh, you know, at that point, obviously, you're, you're in your car. You're always next to your car. Uh, you're never supposed to be close to a grizzly within, like, a, 100 yards. So when it, they're that close, you have to be in your car. And it would just work out perfect. I saw her come out of the trees. They yell out, get back in your car. Uh, so, like, there's, like, five or six of us on, that had leapfrogged up. And uh, so I dive back in the car roll down the passenger window and I just start shooting and I mean I blasted off probably 200 photos 
in <laughs> like five minutes. Maybe not even that. It was probably like three. But uh, anyway, it's so fucking cool. Like she was just two lane road right on the other side, right there. And then all the cops walked by. Um, and I was going to try and jump up, jump forward again, but uh, the park rangers are there anytime there's they spot grizzlies to make sure people don't do anything stupid and at that point since it was right on the road i mean walking right on the shoulder uh they ended up hazing her they honked the horn to scare her back into the grass and uh once it was okay to pull out i tried to leapfrog again and uh they just wouldn't let anybody park right where you could possibly catch her again uh, so I was like, all right, it's a, it's over now. I got some photos. So I was happy. Turn around. I start heading back out to go back to where the other mom was with the, uh, two cups. And, um, uh, I see cameras pointed away from where the grizzly was and I pull up to someone. Hey, what do you see? Like, oh, there's a black bear right there. And, uh, so I pop out, get some photos and, uh, yeah, she it was just an old, old black bear, you know, real gray in the face like me and, uh, was able to pop off some good photos, but now I'm on my way back to the first set of grizzlies I saw, um, to see if she maneuvered out of the valley she was in closer to the road on the opposite side from where I was. But so far it was a good call good call you know leaving Yellowstone and coming out to Grand Tetons still working on getting my bear hours um, of course all the exploring and everything you know still counts for hours so um, you know I'm still grateful to be out here but uh, yeah we'll see I'm about to pull up now and we'll see if she crossed the road boop